Hey guys, so if you've watched any of my other videos on how to ROM hack Smash 4, you might be wondering, how do I apply these patches? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to apply your hacks to the game on your Nintendo 3DS system. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the CIA file that I will have linked in the description. So after you download that, you're going to insert your 3DS's SD card into your PC. And then you can close out of the prompt that always comes up asking you anything. And then you're going to copy this file to your SD card. So it's only 325 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long to copy. So I'll just, I won't even bother pausing the video, I'll just wait for this to get done. So now on the root of your SD card, we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it Salty SD. Just like I did. So name it that. And then we're going to go inside of that and we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it Smash. All lowercase. So then what we're going to do is we're going to copy these two files that I'll have linked. One of them is a Python file, so you will need Python installed, either 2.7 or 3.4, I would recommend. So you're going to copy both of these to the root of your SD card. And then I'm going to run this cache gen. Okay, so it's done. So this will greatly increase the speed of loading times because without that it will take like so long to load the games so I'm going to I'm just gonna go in here and if you if you saw my other video then you'll see that I made a link texture hack so I'm going to go into the folder where we had it Okay, so here it is. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm just going to create a copy of it in the same directory, and I'm just going to drag this somewhere else. Because I'm going to need this directory, so I'm just going to click up here, and I'm going to copy everything, like, past here. So. And then I'm going to open up, a, like, a notepad, and I'm just going to paste this in here. Because I need to memorize that. Or not memorize, but I need to know it. So then inside here, we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to call it data, just like I had it on here. And then model inside of that folder. Then inside that folder, fighter. And then let's just see the rest. And then link, then body, then COO. Whoops, I accidentally created out there. We don't want to do that. we can go back to where we just copied it and I'm going to delete the word copy at the end of it. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into the folder that we just created. I know it's a lot of po I know it's a lot of folders which is why I told you to create this text file so you have don't have to memorize all of it and keep going back and forth. So I'm just going to run cache gen once again. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. You see the file size change. It's now 12 bytes instead of 4. So, next on your 3DS, you're going to install this CIA. So then once you're done installing that, that's pretty much all you have to do. You just go into your game how you normally would. It might ask you if you want to update or not. You just have to click continue. You don't want to update your game. Because that will like not make these work or something. So then, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos. And I'll see you next time.